All right, so I am in the house, and this house is the first time I'm doing a walkthrough of them after they moved out. So the house actually needs a lot of work. So this is the front door, and once you kind of step in, you will see the staircase, and to the left, there's like a hallway, and it goes straight into the laundry room. But on its way, we have um, a half bathroom. And then here we have a very outdated kitchen, which we're gonna try to fix. And this is the garage. Um, I left a lot of crap here. Oh. Do you see that? That's a Halloween bat. I, it's just so fucking freaky. Right, and then into the laundry room. So there's another half bathroom here. And then in the laundry room, they left their washer and dryer, which we're gonna get rid of. And we're definitely going to get rid of these cabinets. And then here's this very useless closet. What I'm thinking of doing is I'm actually going to take the entire closet out and just open up this space and we're going to have stacking laundry here and then like this entire area could be freed up and uh, like the flooring and everything has to go and I'm thinking of building like a dog bath in here so once Margot comes back from a walk, like we could just literally move her here and wash her up before she gets her paws all over the place. But anyways, uh, that's the left side of the first floor. I'm going to the kitchen. It's a fairly small kitchen. And as you can see, it was very well abused, which is really gross. So we're gonna get rid of everything in here. Like this whole kitchen has to go. And in terms of this room, it has a wet bar over there and I think there's a lot of damage on the floor because of the water in this area, but the flooring has to go. And then um, this is the massive fireplace, which I'm not a fan of. I hate river rocks period <laughs> or any sort of rock used as like an interior element and the kids that used to live here just kind of like doodled all over this um and i think it's just so fucking ugly look at how it's all like sticking out this is dangerous someone could literally trip and just really get injured by just smashing their head into this um and i don't know why but the base is protruding so much so this is definitely going to go we'll come up with a better design and there's a I call it a tree house because it kind of hangs like a tree house but there's a gazebo out there and as you can see the seller didn't bother to take their sofa and stuff that's in there with them so we're gonna have to get rid of that it seems like the sellers were trying to do some reno like you can kind of see these are missing and then if you look at like the electrical outlets, they're all missing their plate, which means someone took them off to either paint the place or replace them with more modern ones. Um, and then from here, you go into here, which is kind of like an open space. In the previous, previous listing, they listed this place as a dining room. I think it's kind of weird to call this a dining room because it kind of opens up to where the front door is. But, I mean, this view was literally what sealed the deal. Isn't this amazing? So, I'm trying to think what we're going to do. The floors are very worn out. So I'm thinking of just replacing the entire flooring. Um, and then stuff like this. These have to go. And then we go to the sitting area. 
Um, I guess this is considered the living room. They left all their curtains, which will definitely get replaced. The carpet is just absolutely disgusting. I'm planning on ripping out the carpet, installing hardwood floor. Very worn out, very well used house. All right, so we come back up here and that's the front door. So we're on the right side of the house. I'm thinking of getting rid of the doors of this closet and just leaving this as like an open, like built in place. Um, and then this is the master bedroom. I have absolutely no idea what they were doing, but they literally punched so many holes in the wall. Like all of this will have to get patched and they left a TV stand that we don't really need. And this is how the master bedroom looks like. It has its own deck. And again, they left some things that we really don't need. And then here is the walk-in closet, which I'm thinking of getting rid of these because these are super dated. Getting rid of this area and just opening up the wall so this doesn't have to be separated like this. And rebuilding the inside of the walk-in closet because it does seem a little bit small. Um, then here is the master bathroom. So I am thinking of actually redoing the entire bathroom. It's really dated and at the same time there's no bathtub, which is kind of like not very master bathroomy. So there's actually a room next to this room, it's an office. I'm thinking of knocking down this wall and connecting the office space and making this a huge master bathroom and then expanding the closet in here a little bit. So the closet would probably end here and then the master bathroom would kind of extend beyond there. And this way we could have a really big shower booth and a freestanding tub and a bit of vanity. I don't know. I don't know if we have the budget to do any of that, but that's just the idea. And then next to the master bedroom is a small office. So I feel very conflicted about this space because I do understand that a lot of Michigan houses have an office on the first floor. So I do feel like I should just keep this kind of for resale values because I mean, everyone must use it and that's why they have a first floor um, office, but at the same time, I don't know, like this is where the bathroom is, so it could just literally expand out. We could get rid of this. This entire space could be a master bathroom. What do you think? Well, we'll think about it. Um, all right, so that's pretty much it with the first floor. Um, the view is just so beautiful. I can't get over how beautiful it is. Like think about just walking into this house and this is the first thing you see. Like, oh my God, what? <sighs> Mind blown. All right, so we're definitely gonna rip out these curtains, not curtains, sorry, carpet thingy. And the wall is very dirty and very damaged, but there were five kids living in this house, so. It is pretty understandable. Definitely want to get rid of this railing and put new ones in. Um, all right, so this is room number one. This is the purple room. I'm gonna rip all the carpet out of this house. And they even painted the baseboards purple. But um, it was actually really dirty. The kid probably had their their feet just like always like rubbing on the wall and that's probably why it's really dirty because there was like a desk right here. Um now if we go over here again amazing view. This is the green and pink room. Believe it or not, this is not the sellers that did this color, it's 
the people before the people who lived here who did this color and the seller just didn't bother to actually change this color scheme so here we have a green and pink room with again almost blackish carpet I, I just don't understand what the original color of the carpet was because every room has a different color here's railing I'm definitely going to change out the chandelier then here's a Jack and Jill bathroom nothing of this bathroom is staying definitely going to change everything um, all right and then we come here this is the gray room I think this is one of the bigger rooms and then we'll just go over to the front side which also has a ceiling two floor um, window and then this is the teddy bear room as you can see the teddy bears up there yeah so this is pretty much it the upstairs is pretty simple they literally have like four bedrooms and then a shared bathroom and then we're gonna go down to the basement So here we are in the basement. I don't want to spend too much time in here because there's black mold in here. Um, they left this standing desk. Uh, there's a closet here. And then there's a way out to... Oh, there's a bird. Way out to the side of the house. And then if we look around here, this is kind of like the recreation area or kind of like a hangout area then you can kind of see outside and this is the gym area so you could put like a peloton could go here I do want to buy some gym equipment and um, you have like your mirrors here so that'll be cool I wouldn't have an excuse anymore and then here's just storage and stuff then we go back. And then in here, there's additional storage, which I won't go into. Here's another office or bedroom. I guess it's considered office because there's no closet in here. And then there is the problematic wine cellar. Um... All right, I'm not going to stay here too long, but yeah, that is the walkthrough of the house. So this is my new place, and we're definitely going to put in a lot of elbow grease and hours and creativity and, you know, rethinking the entire space. I'm actually super happy because, like I said, there's just so much greenery around this place I almost feel like I'm just living like smack in the middle of a forest which I kind of am but kind of am not this is I'm still within like a major city and it's just this like really small section that has this amazing view so super happy about that so yeah thank you for doing a walkthrough with me I will see you guys next time